partners that have been with us for a while is that came up because of them saying, you know what, I only have about five students on OSS right now. So I don't know if this makes sense. And they said, can I put my ISS kids in there too? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. And if you think about that, I mean, when I when I worked in a school district, when I was a dean, I ran the, the in-school suspension room. Um, I created a bunch of programs for that room. And the one thing that I always knew every year was it is a it was a unfortunately a dreaded duty for a teacher to cover. And by allowing the students in that room now to actually put on headphones, be on a device and get their work done, it, it works wonderfully. Yeah. So there's no limit. And we even have some schools that have combined when they're using the big breakout rooms where they will put their their students that might be on short term medical. So, you know, you sprain an ankle, you break an arm, you're going to be back in school in a few days. They can utilize this as well. It really eliminates and allows you at the district to know that you have this option that you know tomorrow that student's going to be working with the teacher. So yes, we can we can do ISS because I know a lot of the goal right now too is to keep kids in school. And that is a great goal to have. We don't want them to be home, but yes, we, we can easily have those students be enrolled um, in this, in the classroom as well.